I joined the Air Force from high, from high school. I went to Vic, Victoria High School, and uh, the airplanes were flying over while I was there the last year, and that certainly got under my skin. So I, at 19, I joined the Air Force, 1942, and uh, went through the various Air Force the training schools, uh, initial training school in Edmonton, and I was fortunate enough to be selected for the pilot training. Went to Prince Albert and flew Tiger Moth there. I think I got 75 hours on the Tiger Moth. And when I graduated from that, uh, went to Dauphin, Manitoba on Cessna Cranes, a, a two-engine job. Uh, finished, uh, got my wings in November of that year of 1943, and was posted to Penfield Ridge, New Brunswick, uh, flying the Ventures, that's the operational training unit, and uh, had about three months there. And when we finished that course, we were posted overseas. So you were a, you were a pilot on the Mitchell. I was a pilot in the Mitchell. Yes, one of the nasty ones was. Uh, as I say, we flew in a formation of six. And in this particular day, we were bombing a small uh, ammunition and bomb dump in a, in a small forest. I was flying number four that day, which is underneath and slightly behind the, the leader. And the way we turned off the target, uh, I saw the bomb dumping exploding and flame and smoke and all that sort of thing. and. As, as we were leaving the target, you could see a, a row of explosions from the corner of the bomb dump out to the corner of the forest. And we'd caught an ammunition train in, and it was blowing up at the same time. So when we turned off the target, our standard procedure was, when we were in occupied territory, that we did an uh, irregular weave. If you never flew straight and level for more than 20 seconds, uh, and uh, in this particular case, the, the uh, RAF squadron leader that was leading the, the formation this day, when we pulled off the target, he flew straight and level for I don't know how many minutes, maybe five or even less than that. And uh, all of a sudden, there's, there's three black puffs of smoke, of, of flak smoke, that shot down the leader and they shot down the number two that was flying on his wing. And uh, the other airplanes scattered. I stayed with the leader because I'm right underneath him. And I could see the damage that had been done from the underneath of the airplane. And it was a split from the f side of the fuselage right to the one of the engine nacelles, and fuel was pouring out. Uh, a few minutes later, it started to smoke. So I called them and told them that we were starting to smoke. And all the time, we're, we're descending quite rapidly. So after I called and said there was smoke there, within seconds, the bottom hatch of the bomb of the Mitchell came off and a, a guy bailed out. And it turned out it was the navigator of the lead airplane and uh, he survived. So that was the, the first one. And w when we got back, or when, once I got uh, things under control, we got rid of I stopped, I stopped the formation flying with, with the leader and uh, had a chance to assess our problem. My, one of my gunners had hit, got hit in the arm with the flak. Uh, the, <coughs> the hydraulic pressure gauge was zero. The air brake pressure gauge was reading zero. And all of the instruments off the left engine were reading zero. So something had taken things out of the engine. Uh, it, it, the engine flew, uh, ran normally, so I just kept the throttles together and had no more problem. Uh, when we got back to base, then we, we had no flaps, we had no undercarriage. I had to get my navigator to pump the undercarriage down, and uh, so that was my first day. So looking back, what kind of an opportunity do you think that was for you? That was just the most wonderful opportunity in the world. I, I was 21, when, or I was 19 when I joined. 
uh, I was flying operationally on Mitchell on, at, at 21, uh, flying a, a big, fairly fast airplane for the time. Looking back, I wouldn't have missed it. Uh, and, you know, as long as I didn't get hurt, that uh, I would do it again. <laughs>